Hi, we're going to start with nail art today. And I know you have an assignment of 25 nail art. So we're going to start with the basics. And I sent over some sheets. This is the tools of the art trade. And it goes into great detail of what each tool is used for and a little design so you can see what it actually does. <clears throat> You'll have a striper sheet. Take your striper sheet out. Take a look at it. Because we're going to start on the striper sheet. When you're making um, nail art designs, it's good to do the base art first and that's with the polish and then the stripes and dots so let me move this so you can see the sheet Um, the tools that you'll need, I have my striper, dotter. This is a small dotter, but they have all sizes. And you'll need water. Do not lick the striper. Um, and then I have paints. I have a variety of colors with me for now. Okay, let me grab a little water. I like to shake up my paints and just use the top. I don't like squeezing it out because you end up wasting a lot. And in the cap, you can um, use the cap to actually drag on the sides to get a nice even amount on your striper. Like, kind of like that. And I have my pinky arced. It can be out, but I like just arcing it. That gives you a light touch and it actually helps you to do the lines. Um, with the tip that you need. So I start here and I use the tip of the brush. And you can start the bottom and go to the top. Or you can start at the top and then stripe it down. So you go ahead and stripe bottom and go up. Off to the side. So at any angle, you can go from the bottom up. This one is the bottom up. And or the top and down. This one is kind of like a number sign. And you're just adding extra lines. This one is like a ladder. So you just stroke it down a little bit more and then you add lines. This one is like an A. And this one, you can actually add an A with some lines on it. This one is a grid. So like three lines and then across. This one is like the first one we did, but just add more lines to it. I keep my light touch going. This one is a newer design. Let me show you right quick. Hello, fan. Okay, the newer one is the wishbone, and it's curvier. 
heavier than the thing that we did. So I'm going to show you the wishbone. It's a little curvy instead of the straight. You could do a wishbone, basically ladder as well. So just use this sheet to to work on your um, stripes and wrist movements and pinky action, your light touch. This is basically a star. Okay, so use this sheet to warm up and at the bottom you'll have some actual empty spaces and you can use the empty spaces to make the combination of some of the designs that you just learned some of the strokes it'll be totally up to you where you want to place some then i'll say get a different color you want to add another color to So make a double combination, two different colors. Just a couple of different lines and dots and strokes. It's totally up to you with the color combination. And so next we're going to do the dotter sheet. And this will warm you up for the actual nails that we do. I'm going to move the camera a little closer as well. So you can do the dotter sheet. After the daughter sheet, you'll have a sheet like this. You want to practice all of these nails. And you do have a step-by-step -step design sheet that we talked about yesterday. And I want you to actually um, show the steps on the sheet and or a nail, all the steps. We talked about an all 10 design sheet. I want you to work on all 10 as well, a design with all 10 looking exactly alike. It could be on the sheet that I send over or it could be on nails. Okay, so with the daughter, let's use a different color for that. So I'll just shake them up a little so that the paint can get in the cap. And okay, so make sure you get enough paint on the bead that's at the tip of your daughter so i just circle it so that i can get a nice amount of paint on there and then you just start dotting and once you go just continuously go down the dots get smaller on their own 
moving my container closer. This one is just a comma, so you place the dot and then pull it down. You can do it either way, that way, and pull it down that way. This one is the little paw print. We used to do this a lot. And you just dot, dot, dot. You can make them um, like the little paws are walking and stagnate them a little so it'll really look like they're walking. This one is just a swiggle, so you pull it down. So you dot it and then pull it down. A Z. It slides much better on a nail. This one you kind of swirl it. You can go from the bottom and go up or top and go down and around. This one is just larger dots. You actually can get a larger dotter and just boom, make one dot. Instead of circling it around. This one we had a little debate. We didn't know if it was hugs and kisses or love. But the X and the O definitely represents hugs and kisses and love. So we'll say both. Oops. Um, so XOXO is a nice design for like Valentine's, Sweetie's Day. And write that on a nail. Okay, so the balloon is just an open circle and then a swiggle. I'm gonna um, show you how to do the, let's see, the flower. I don't have red. It's like a rose, but we're going to do pink. And green. So, get enough on there. And you're going to make a... Swirl and like a little cup up under it. And a swiggle. I'm going to use my smaller side for the swiggle. For the flower. And like a swirl at the top, a cup up under it. Can you see that? And a swiggle up under it. The actual paw prints can become little baby feet for like a baby shower nail or something. Just make two large circles. You can um, stagnate it as well. But just make sure you have all the toes. So I do the big toe and then two, three, four, five. They get smaller as you go down. So big toe. Two, three, four, five, and uh, two large dots, and then the five baby toes, like a baby shower or something. So you can write on the nail. And it's funny, I was telling, telling you yesterday that I write on the nail with my right hand, but I'm actually left-handed when I write.
kind of off to the side. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a little Chanel. Okay, so um, we talked about it in class yesterday, but I just wanted to do a quick um, video. And I'm actually going to do uh, the base color design for you and then another nail. And then I'm going to try to find like my other camera so that I can go into detail and you can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to use some base colors. I try to pick like the color that the client wants. So just say this was her main color. And then I put other accent colors that'll go nicely. And with colors, you can really play around with the background. So you put this one there and then you let it dry basically. Dry through. By the time you do the base on the other nails that you were going to do and come back, this will be dry and actually able um, for you to go ahead and apply the nail art. Okay. I like my videos nice and raw. Like, sometimes I might decide to add music, but I really just like talking and, um doing the demo and not all the extra fluff that people are used to. So this is how I like to do my videos. So I did like a peachy color. Um, so I'm gonna do orange, pink. I didn't grab the yellow. This is some Glow in the dark yellow. I don't know if I want to use that. And like a powder blue color. One of the colors should always be light. So light and dark. Like contrasts, but you need that pop of color. So the pop of color could be the light one. I'm going to do a pop of color. Like. Close up some of these paints. Okay. How did they blend it on there? I'm hitting it on a towel just to take some of that water excess off because once you swiggle it in the water, you don't want it getting everywhere. So I do my stripes first. Then I do my dots. I'm gonna add a couple of white um, stripes. Only a few. Do 
we can do like a swirl right there and add a few dots that curve over there we can even do like a larger dot somewhere just to add some design other than putting on and you're basically just looking for spaces uh, let me see if you can see that too close okay so oh no okay so um you have 25 nail art nail art consists of rhinestones so you can do rhinestones gems you can do the lines and dots with the background without the background you can do encapsulation with nail art on top of it and you can do we talked about butterflies and um, hearts and butterflies are in trending you can do hearts you can do um 3d flowers all of that is considered nail art and you have 25 of them to do so go ahead and get started make sure you send them over to my phone so i can check them out and bye have a good day